we've been talking about the topic of breastfeeding. Yes. I, um, I breastfed until I, until my baby was four months. I would have loved to go way longer. She, yeah. It just wasn't working for me. Oh, and, really? and most people stop at six months. And mm -hmm. how old is your son? He's a year and a half. A year and a half. Okay, mm -hmm. sorry about that. Uh, yeah. And you are still breastfeeding now. Yes. And how long would you go? Until he's finished. But I mean, and so you guys like that. So what does that mean? Does that mean if he were, if he were five, that would be that would work too? Yeah, I think one of the misperceptions about breastfeeding when they get a little bit older is the thought that it's still as often as it is when women do it in the first six months. It's not every two hours. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. No, it's, and it's not only you're, there's food involved. Also, it's not the only food they're yeah, getting. Yeah, tons obviously. of solids. Yeah, and also the, a lot of times it's around nap time or around, if they hurt themselves, they equate breastfeeding with comfort and nurturance and connection, so that's the, And the thing I the think time. is interesting is people get very critical about this, and this isn't about being judgmental. I really just want to talk about it, because for me, I felt that I wanted it to be my own time. And I think a lot of people in the press are talking about, is it good for the child? And of course, that's the most important thing, but sometimes the mother wants to have that connection, continue to have that connection. I liked that it was something I had alone with my daughter, and I kind of, yeah. when that stopped, I, I, was, I was sad. Yeah, it is about the mom and the child, too. There's a mutual benefit, and I think the extremes is where people get a little bit scared and the, the, the topic gets really heated.